Hello, hello. Welcome to today's video. Today, we're checking out a brand new freeware application by Parallel42. It's called Simstaller. Basically, back in the day, Parallel42 built their own installer for their customers buying their products. The objective was to make things super straightforward, super easy. I mean, you just download, it installs, jobs done. The second part is a VFS scanner. The virtual file system inside Microsoft Flight Simulator well, this program scans the core files, and it'll alert you if there's anything causing a conflict or it's overriding one of the core files, which we know leads to all sorts of headaches. They've mashed both of these products together and released a freeware program called Simstall. Let's go check it out. Let's have a look at it. Would you like to know more? Okay, we start our adventure by navigating to the Parallel42.com website. And once here, click on Utilities. From Utilities, find the Simstaller thumb and click on it. This opens up the product page and there's a world of information. We can see Simstaller, a freeware utility for effortless installations and identification of add-on conflicts. Designed exclusively for Microsoft Flight Simulator, this lightweight Windows application operates seamlessly outside of your sim space, ensuring unnoticeable resource usage. Now, there's a whole load of information here, including some highlights, and you'll notice it says free because it is. However, they have a little donation thingy. If you want to buy the lads a cup of coffee or even a tasty beverage of your choice, well, that's where you do that. So we're going to click on add to cart. It'll download and once it's ready, We'll see our app right here. So this is Simstaller, and we can see we have an install and a scan option, as we mentioned earlier on. So let's start with install. The top option, we can install an add-on directly by just clicking on this, uh, and it'll point to wherever you have your files. You can grab it, hit open, and it'll do the installation itself. Furthermore, we can point this to the package destination. This is pointing where we want the add-ons to be installed. So if we click on any of these options, we're met with additional information. So for this one, compressed files containing Microsoft Flight Sim add-ons will install in the selected directory. We recommend selecting the community folder. So in this case, we click on community. It should find it. If it doesn't, you can use the browse feature and just point the app to your community folder. Furthermore, if you use add-ons linker, I use it, you can click a bookmark. So say for example, if you want your files on a different hard drive or in a different folder, this is where you can add them in. For this, we're just going to use community. So we're going to say use. Next up, we have the apps library. This is where some of the other apps that run outside of the community folders live. The likes of Little Nav Map that we all love, Stripper by Parallel42. That's where everything lives here. So again, we can point them. By default, they go to your documents folder, but like everything, we can change that if we wish. So the last one, this is pretty cool. New download monitoring. Basically what this does, new add-ons found here when Simstaller is running will auto install. Simstaller smartly detects Microsoft Flight Sim add-ons and it ignores the other files. By default, it's gonna find your downloads folder. If you wish, you can change it to a different folder and then manually add them back in yourself. Before this, let's just use the default. Okay. What we're going to do now, we're going to ramble over to flightsim.to and here I want to grab a very fancy livery for the Learjet 35. Big shout out to the developer over to Ryan and we're going to hit download now. So we're going to start the download. Try it again there Murph. Oh 10 seconds, am I a bot? Am I not a bot? What would you say if you ever met a bot? This is going to be cool right? So we're ready to download, we're going to prove that we're not a robot. Now, when we hit start download, check this out, right? Two things are going to happen. So we're going to keep this guy up here. See this little pin? If you click that, it turns green. Simstaller will stay in front of any other window or application. I'm also going to open up a folder where my downloads are going to live. And in here, this is the folder that I've told Simstaller, put them into my default downloads location. So when I hit this, it's going to download it into that location and we're planning that Simstaller is going to pick it up automatically. Let's see what happens. So it's downloading here in the background. 
This is all terribly exciting. Now, I'm not going to press any other button. We're just passengers in all of this, right? So let's see what happens here. Four seconds. Oh, shit. It's happening. Things are happening here in the background. Give it a second. Look at this. Simstaller has detected the add-on straight away. It's checking it for any conflicts with the core files and it's giving it a full install. Check out the fancy thumbnail. It's even picking up the thumbnail from the add-on. This thing is highly polished. Another thing we can see is documentation. Simstaller goes through the add-on folders and it brings the documents, which can be buried, it brings them right up to the front. We can see that there's a readme file with this add-on. So it says 100% installed. The package is installed in our Microsoft Flight Sim community folder. How cool is that? Moving on, here we have the VFS scan. Mods can conflict with others when they attempt to modify the same elements of the virtual file system. That's how the sim is built using its own virtual file system. Now, we can configure our report. Basically, what we want to do, we want the application, we want Simstaller to go off and find any possible conflicts. So we're going to configure this report. So we have an option. Do we want to exclude overrides within your community folder? This will basically exclude overrides between third-party packages in our community folder, focusing only on core sim. By default, this is unchecked because it could be the case one add-on is overriding the same files as another add-on and they're overriding the core files. So we want to include these. We can, however, exclude the self overrides. Multiple packages from the same developer can share elements. In most cases, this is expected and it doesn't cause any issues. So we're just going to click start scan. What this is doing, it's going to scan all the core files of the sim inside the VFS and it's going to say, hey, the following add-ons are causing conflict or overriding the core files. Now, before we start all getting excited, ah, me sim is banjaxed. Well, it's not really. I'll explain to you the scenario that I had. A couple of months ago, I had an add-on installed and it was causing havoc with other add-ons in the sim. Basically, I was trying to operate the radios, I think it was the DC6, and the font, the actual numbers in the radio were far too big for the panel that was in the aircraft. This was like new to me. I was like, what? Why is this broken? Little did I know, one of the add-ons had overwritten a core file. I started off by removing all my community add-ons from the community folder. There was over a thousand of them. And I added them all back in one by one by one to see where the conflict was. I couldn't find it because how Microsoft Flight Sims VFS actually works the last file in becomes priority. Basically, if you download an add-on, it, it goes into your community folder, and if it conflicts with any of the main core files, the sim will always load that until it's changed. So, my hair turned grey, and then I eventually figured it out. However, if I had this bit of software back then, instead of having to identify potentially a thousand add-ons, what this report has just given me from the VFS scan, it's telling me the following add-ons are overriding the core sim files. So when it comes to avionics, these are all the add-ons. When it comes to the liveries, these are all the add-ons. When it comes to the lights and the visual effects, well, all of these add-ons override the core files. Now, there's no reason to draw any concern here because most add-ons will override the core files. That's how a lot of them work. The likes of Parallel 42's Flow, for example, it needs to override the UI, the user interface. So why do we need this tool? Well, in my case, instead of having to remove a thousand add-ons, I knew there was an issue with my avionics. Therefore, this report would narrow down the thousand add-ons that I was using to about 20 add-ons. And all I would need to do, remove these 20 add-ons to see, yes, the problem has now gone away. And then I can start adding back one by one to see which one is the offending. This is knowledge is power. That's what this is. It's helping us identify any issues. Now, if you're unsure, if you're a little bit alarmed, we got a little button here. Now, what do we do? Well, this is going to open up the wiki from Parallel 42 and it explains what's happening and what do we need to do with three options. We could ignore it. We can notify our asset developer 
you know, hey man, you know that add-on you made that's really great? Well, listen, it's causing a conflict with the sim and it's broken something else. Can you fix it? Can you change it? And failing that, we can just uninstall the add-on that's causing the issue. This is all about giving us information. As simmers, I mean, you look at the old renditions of Flight Simulator. Most of our time, most of our time is spent troubleshooting it. <laughs> is it, what do you do? Well, I like to do Flight Sim. I like troubleshooting. Right, troubleshooting simulator. What Parallel 42 have given us here is such an easy tool to be able to identify any conflicts with the core sim files. It's super handy. So we have our install and we have our scan. We can also export this um, scan. We can send it straight to a developer to say, hey man, listen, you know the thing? Well, look, here's the problem. So everything's built in here for us. So Simstaller by Parallel 42. Super easy for installing and super handy for scanning any potential conflicts. Right, I'm away now to think about how many conflicts we can squeeze in. Until the next time, you guys take care.